Hey guys, today the Sherlock Holmes office modular building is finally complete. If you're interested in seeing the first two updates of this mock, then I'll leave some links for those videos below. But for now, let's get right into the building. The front of the house includes a lot of small details. The bottom story has some white textured bricks, which I made with some modified bricks and tiles, a checkered floor in front of the door, and some flowers encased with fencing. There's also some stained glass above the door, some lanterns, and a window poking out. The top story includes lots of orange tan modified brick pieces and two large white windows. I created these flower pots with an illegal building technique by pushing these two claws together, and I think that they turned out really well. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson are standing on the balcony. Well, how, how did they get up there? I, I don't really know. The roof includes two chimneys and two slanted windows. The back of the building still has a few nice details, such as a large raised flower bed, numerous boxes, and a long set of poles going across the roof. Without further ado, let's see the inside of the office. The bottom floor has some bookcases, which I made by layering plates sideways as books, and a nice fireplace. One of the bookcases has a ring, some letters, and a gramophone, which I got from a tutorial. The staircase is on the other side of the room, along with two chairs and another bookshelf. I got this lovely antique red chair design from an online tutorial, but created the second one myself. I also included a hat rack alongside the stairs. The second floor contains Sherlock's workspace and bedroom. Along this wall is his desk, a typewriter from a tutorial, and a large cluttered billboard filled with maps, newspapers, and letters. These two corners of the room house a small plant and a violin, again from a tutorial. Gosh, I used a lot of those, but they were fantastic. Alongside the front wall of the room is a very nice grandfather clock from yet another amazing YouTube tutorial and Sherlock's checkered bed. The only things which remain are Sherlock's chest full of his most prized possessions, an armchair, and a suspended dresser. And that brings a conclusion to this Lego mock. I really hope that you guys enjoyed Sherlock's office and the few updates which I created for you guys to stay, um, updated on the building. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like this conclusion to the office, and I'll see you next time.